What's up, everybody? I'm Jesse. I'm Ben. And you're watching Gym Rat TV. Today, we're going to teach you how to burn up and tone up those stubborn, can't seem to lose areas. Good. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight. Something we hear a lot in the personal training world is clients coming to us looking to lose fat or flab in specific areas. You hear people say things like love handles or a little bit underneath the arms. While those are great goals, this is a myth known as spot reduction. It doesn't actually exist. To be more specific, spot reduction is the idea of thinking that doing curls is going to tone up your arm, burn fat from your arm, or doing crunches is going to burn fat from your stomach. That's not really the way it works. To begin, we need to know what body fat actually is. Body fat occurs when we eat what's called a calorie surplus. That means we're consuming more energy then we're putting out. Our body has a great mechanism for utilizing this extra energy by storing it in fat deposits. Now, our genetics are primarily gonna determine where that fat goes. So it's not necessarily what muscle is getting used more or less, as much as our genetics are storing it in a specific way. Furthermore, generally speaking, food types also don't go to certain parts of our bodies. Again, it's just a surplus of calories so we're not saying don't do these exercises, we're just saying that they're not going to burn fat from that area. Bicycle crunches, leg lifts, those are all really great for building strength in our core and building muscle in our abs. We're just saying they're not gonna burn fat from there. So you may be thinking, well, great, then what can we do? And the answer is pretty simple. If we are in a calorie surplus to gain fat in different areas, then what we need to do is go into a calorie deficit to start to try to burn those areas. When I say calorie deficit, what we're talking about is eating fewer calories than what we're spending. Eating less food or having more movement throughout the day so we have a higher energy expenditure. It's really crucial to understand that we are talking on a larger time scale than any of us would care for. A lot of us would like to think that I can go into the gym, spend an hour hitting crunches, and that area will be more toned up. The human body just simply does not adapt at that rate. What we need to do is instead go into a modest, healthy calorie deficit over a long period of time while maintaining a balanced exercise and diet, and then we can start to see the results. And I know this might be a little bit hard to accept because our whole lives we've been watching infomercials that are trying to sell us products that will burn fat from certain areas like the Ab Blaster 5000, butt shrinker, 2200, shake weights. Um, so they're using marketing techniques to, to connect to our emotions on a certain area that is challenging for our body to burn fat from, okay? So don't get duped, play the long game, be consistent, and continue to love your body on the journey. Thanks for tuning in to Gym Rat TV. Sorry to bust your balls about spot reduction, but if you're curious if you can make $1 billion overnight, Tune in next week to find out if that's a real thing. Until then, I'm Ben. And I'm Jesse. And I'm going to go hit some tricep extensions.